Hello my friends and welcome back. I am so thankful that you are here. So many people struggle with multiplication, especially the six, sevens, eights, and nines. And my friends, I have a trick to teach you. Oh my lanta. You will be so excited about this. It's using your fingers. So let's hop over to the whiteboard and I will show you. Oh, it's been too long since I've had a video at the whiteboard. So I have these hands here and I want you to look at this with your own hands, okay? So take your fingers and your thumbs are gonna be six, pointer seven, middle eight, ring nine, and 10 is your pinky on both hands, okay? So remember that because this technique is just for multiplying your sixes through your tens. So what you're going to do is arrange your fingers, okay? Let's say I want to go seven times eight. So I'm going to put here my seven times my eight. Okay, so I'm going to kind of draw a line or a circle rather around my sevens and eights. And we're gonna count how many there are. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So that is going to be 50. And now I have my top three, one, two, three. So I'm going to go three times one, two. So three times two is six. And then I just add them up together. So I have 50 plus six equals 56. So seven times eight equals 56. Let's try another one. Seven times seven. So I'm gonna take my seven and seven and count how many fingers I have below. So one, two, three, four. So that's going to give me 40. Now I have three above the seven over here times three above the seven over here, which gives me nine. So then I go 40 plus nine equals 49. So seven times seven equals 49. So let's pause a second and I want to share with you that you actually probably already know a lot of your multiplication. So check out this video right here where I use a chart and I color code it and I show you, oh, actually you do know way more than you think you do. Okay, this time we're going to go six times eight. Six times eight equals, I have my six and my eight and I have one, two, three, four. So four, which turns it into 40. And then I have four above my six over here times two over here, which equals eight. So 40 plus eight equals 48. So I know that six times eight is equal to 48. Now we've got nine times eight. So I will circle these fingers and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which turns it to 70. And then I have one over here, that, that 10 above, and two over here. So one times two equals two. So then I have 70 plus two equals 72. Nine times eight is 72. Now we have here 10 times six. So I'll circle these and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is 60 plus there's zero over here and one, two, three, four over there. So zero times four, any number times zero is always zero. So 60 plus zero equals 60. 10 times six is 60 but hopefully you already knew that one. <laughs> now, as handy as this trick is, I do recommend that you work hard and you actually take the time to memorize the multiplication table, okay? I know it's tricky, but you just have to put in the time. So I made these little note cards. I have actually all the way up to 12, just to help practice and just practice them over and over again. On the front side here, I have like three times 12 and then I would have the answer on the back side. Just practice it over and over. But you know what? You actually probably know most of them. 
So my recommendation, check out that other video I mentioned and see what you know because you already know so many of them, I guarantee. My friends, you go have a beautiful day. Believe in yourself. Use your fingers if you have to. I believe in you and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> Peace, guys. So when I say let's hop over to the whiteboard, I, I really mean it. Okay, I'm in a small room and watch. Here's the whiteboard. <laughs>